Um, the thing I love about PC gaming right now is the thing I've always loved about it, which is that it's open platform. It is not centralized by a single gatekeeper. I've been playing PC games since I was six, and that's always been my primary platform. And the like diversity of experiences available on the platform in 2014 is like utterly incredible. A lot of PC games just have this this level of depth that you can sort of really just lose yourself in. And, uh, and yeah, like XCOM, uh, the original XCOM is my favorite game of all time, right? You don't get much deeper than that. I mean, that the rule book that came in the box was like this thick. You know? <laughs> it just uh, evokes a really strong tradition of uh, complex and unforgiving RPGs. And I think like for us, that's the sort of, we're old now, and uh, I grew up with like Eye of the Beholder 1 and 2, and you know, all those kind of like, really esoteric PC games, and, and I think that's a tradition that we're trying to honor. And I just, I don't know, I'm just attached to it, I guess, at an emotional level. I love going back to something later, and there's a bunch of new mods, there's a bunch of new graphic upgrades, maybe I have a new video card, and a lot of these older games that I would never go back to, I can go back to. The reason I had a computer was because I was in graphic design in school, and so, and that's where I got into like playing like uh, a marathon. Remember uh, Bungie's first person shooter marathon? And they shipped a bunch of tools where you could edit uh, characters and weapons and physics and create your own maps. And that's what I was doing in college. Instead of like my class stuff, I was building maps. Well, what I love in PC game is the ability for you to mod your PC. So I have been a PC gamer myself for, I don't know, since I got my first PC when I was nine years old. I'm almost 40 now. <laughs> So uh, I love the ability that you can like buff up your PC and depending on the, the video cards that you have and, and the watch memory you have, you can get like better results from the game. So, 1080p, 60 prints. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you love about current gen console gaming. What you love about PC gaming is fucking 4K displays. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> fucking quads, SLI. Yeah. How many fans do you have in your rig? None, liquid cooled. Is that even cool anymore? No one liquid cool stuff anymore, do they? I don't know. I mean, I've been excited to, we've been doing more PC gaming than we had been doing in the last like five years. And for us, the exciting thing was just being able to go independent. It's what allowed us to get control of our own properties and publish them ourselves and um, reach more people with stuff like Gang Beasts and all those, and uh, Master Chalice. And so I guess it's given us a more direct connection to the players and the fans, which I really, really like. It is less expensive to develop on PC, and that is probably one of the reasons that you've got something like the Indie Mega Booth. A lot of people started out with PC games, with the engines that are available on PC. Uh, it's really where a lot of the great ideas are coming from right now. For someone who's just got a laptop and an idea, like your PC is the first place to go to, to develop your idea. It's amazing to see all the indie stuff on Steam and all the crazy kind of low budget ways that people are finding to be successful. You know, it doesn't have to be the thing that we're doing here where it's like huge budget, triple A, right? There's other ways for people to achieve what they want to and be successful and they're finding really creative ways to do it because it's, it's a hard problem to solve. No, I just, I, I mean, honestly, what I really like is that like the explode, the recent explosion of like the breadth of experiences that you can have in PC gaming that you just can't really have on a console right now just because of the sheer number of like inputs and like the flexibility of like using a keyboard and a mouse to have these insane strategy games, like Crusader Kings 2, for example. But also the console, also all the other stuff as well. It's just, it's, it's a smorgasbord of gaming delights. There's always something new that I can go experience and, and play with that's never going to get old. You know, that, that freedom of the PC platform is just always going to allow for the most broadest depth of, uh, of experiences available, I think, at any time. But it never stops. It never stops evolving, it never stops moving, it never stops uh, providing possibilities to do new and cool things uh, and every other platform tends to be kind of more fixed and more controlled and so for me there's no limitations with a PC and you can dream and imagine things in a way that you couldn't on other platforms. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It is a beautiful thing. <laughs> That's why I like it.